Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class. Thank you. Nice. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class. Thank you.
Good evening. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class. Good evening, sir. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class. Okay, thank you. Okay, we're going to start then. As usual, we're going to check about the platform first. So, this is the class of today and uh, you will see that there is the question already posted so you can start. Also remember that this week we have to finish everything. We have to finish by Thursday, all the platform, so. It's very, 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 very important for you to finish. Hey, now we're going to check the attendance. Let's see. Okay, Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present teacher. Thank you. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Good. Ana Selmi yeah. Chavez. Flor de Maria Carballo Ugarte. Present. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Uh, okay, good. Guadalupe del Carmen López Flores. Present. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present, teacher. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Present. Good. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Osmin Baire Solórzano. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Good evening, present. Good evening. Rafael Ernesto González Ventura. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Present teacher. Good. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Yancy Lisbeth Hernández Mejía. Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Good. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Ana Michelle Guevara. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. 
Okay, we are going to start the class of today then. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Yeah, I'm going to check that right now. Hold on. Okay. Perfect. So we are going to continue with the book. So I want to finish the book between today and tomorrow so we can continue with the regular class and uh, not missing anything. So we are in the last unit and this is inventory as you may remember, inventory. And in this one it says, I will be able to design a basic plan to organize an inventory management system. Okay, and there are questions of course in the number one. So everybody, how do I calculate the right amount of inventory to stock? What do you think? How do you calculate the right amount of inventory to stock? In base of estimated demand for some. Very good, with a forecast, right, that you have in mind. And other thing that we checked yesterday, do you remember? You need to count all the articles. Okay, very good. So the costs, right? The cost that for me represents to have the inventory. I need to have enough, not too much, not too little stock. So that is important. The other one says, how do I determine the right price for my inventory? That is a very good question. So everybody, how do you determine the right price for the inventory? You need a study of the merchants. You need their information of your product, your cost, and the merchant is the people to you. Do you sell the product? Very you good. need to know other products, other markets? Brands. Brands. Very good. Yeah, you Brands. need to determine the many factors, right? So there are like the pricing, of course, the cost of the warehouse, uh, the um, everything that is involved in this kind of situation. So we have uh, a conversation. Susan and Jorge are talking about the basics on how to keep an organized inventory system. Read the conversation and take turns practicing it. So let's check pronunciation first. It says, I'm having a, I'm having a bad time with my business, Susan. I need some advice about inventory management. Okay. I see you keep notes on any scrap of paper, Jorge. The first step to implement an organized inventory management system is getting all of your product and vendor information in one place. I recommend you do this in a spreadsheet and record notes there consistently. Sure, I can do that. I didn't really give much attention to my notes. Now you know, and look here, the labels are falling off the packages. By labeling inventory properly, you ensure that your products get stored accurately and in the right spots so that your employees can find them easily when needed. Do you have any questions on pronunciation on any word or phrase? The word uh, is spread, spreadsheet. 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 Yeah. So sheet is the double E is like when you're smiling. Sheet, right? Spreadsheet. Any other word? The word accurately, accurately, accurately. 
good, good. Any other question on pronunciation? Okay, so let's practice then. Let's see, Ada, Patricia, and Osmin, you are the first ones. Right, teacher. It's okay. I start. Uh, okay. Okay. I am having a bad time with my business. Susan, I need some advice about inventory management. Okay. I see you keep not on any crap of paper, George. The first step to implement an organized inventory management system in getting all of your product and vendor information in one place. I recommend you do this is a spreadsheet and record notes there consistently. Sure, I can do that. I didn't really give much attention to my notes. No, you know. And look here, delays are filling of the package by leveling inventory properly and ensure that your product gets stored accurately in the right spot so that your employees can find them easily when needed. Very good, perfect. Now, Anna, sell me and Sandra. Sandra, are you Jorge? Okay. I am having a bad time with my business, Susan. I need some advice about inventory management. Okay. I see you keep notes on any scrap of paper, George. The first step to implement an organized inventory management system is getting all of your product and vendor information in one place. I recommend you do this in a spreadsheet and record notes there consistently. Sure, I can do that. I didn't really give much attention to my notes. Now you know, and look here, the levels are the falling of the package. By labeling inventory properly, you ensure that your product gets stored accurately in right spot so that your employees can find them easily when needed. When needed. Very good, perfect. Now, Susana and Rose. Okay, Susana. Okay. okay. We Susana. Okay, you Susana. <laughs> okay. Okay. okay, I'm I'm Jorge. <clears throat> I'm having a bad time with my business, Susan. I need some advice about inventory management. Okay, I see you keep note on any scrap of paper, George. The first step to implement is an organized inventory magnet magnet is system is getting all of your product and vendor information in one place. I recommend you do this in a spreadsheet and record notes very consistently. Sure, I can do that. I didn't really give much attention to my notes. Now you know, and look there, and look here. The labels are falling off the package. By leveling inventory properly, you ensure that your products get stored accurately in the right spot so that your employees can find them easily when needed. Very good, perfect. Now, Adriana and Gloria. Okay. I start. Okay. I'm having a bad time with my business, Susan. I need some advice about inventory management. I see you keep notes 
on any scrap of paper. For her. The first step to implement an organizing inventory management system is getting all of your product and vendors information in, in one place. I recommend you do this is a spreadsheet and record notes there consistently. Sure, I can do that. I didn't really give much attention to my note. Now you know and look here, the levels are filling of the package, but labeling inventory property. You ensure that your products get stored accurately in the right spot to so that your employees can find them easily easily when ten when needed. Good, perfect. Now Mayra and Flor. Okay. Okay, I start. Okay. I have a bad time with my business, Susan. I need some advice about inventory management. Okay. I see you keep notes on any scrap of paper, George. The first step to implement an organized inventory management system is getting all of your product and vendor information in one place. I recommend you, you do this in a spreadsheet and record notes there consistently. Sure, I can do that. I didn't re really give much attention to my note. Now you know, and look here, the labels are folding of the packages. By labeling inventory properly, you ensure that your products get started accurately in the right spots so that your employees can find them easily when needed. Okay, very good. Now, Carla and Guadalupe. I'm having a bad time with my business, Susan. I need some advice about inventory management. Okay, I see you keep note on any scrap of the paper. For him, the first step to implement a uh, organized inventory manager system is getting all of your product and, and vendor and vendor information in the order for the one place. I recommend you do this is a spreadsheet and record note there consistent. Sure, I can do that. I didn't really give much attention to my notes. Now you know uh, and look here, the label are for Falling of the package by labeling inventory properly to ensure that your product gets stored accordingly in the right spot so that your employees can find them easily when needed. Very good. Now, uh, Pamela and Zulma. Okay. Okay. I'm having a bad time with my business, Susan. I need some advice about inventory management. Okay, I see you keep notes on any scrap of paper. George, the first step to implement an organized inventory management system in getting all of your product and vendor information in one place. I recommend you do this on a spreadsheet and record note and record notes there consistently. Sure, I can do that. I didn't really give give much attention to my notes. Now you know, 
And look here, the labels are following of the packages by labeling inventory properly. You ensure that your products get stored accurately in the right spot so that the, your employees can find them easily when you need when needed. Very good, perfect. Now, Nelson and Ricardo. Okay, okay. <clears throat> Eh, mi Jorge. Okay. I am the, eh, I am having a bad time with my business, Susan. I need some advice about inventory manager. <clears throat> okay. I see you keep notes on any strap on the paper, your the first step to is implement implement and organize inventory management system in a getting allergy product and the vendor information on the place. I recommend that you do this uh, spreadsheet and record notes there is consistently. Sure, I can do that do has I didn't really give much attention. Two no, not you now. And look here. The lab labor are filing on the package. Be labeling inventory properly to ensure that your product get a story accordingly in the right spot. So that your employees can find them easily when need. Needed. Good. Perfect. Now, uh, Michelle and Rafael. Okay, Miss Susan. Okay, I'm George. I'm having a bad time with my business, Susan. I need some advice about inventory management. Okay, I see you keep notes on any scrap of paper, George. The first step to implement and organize inventory management system is getting a lot of your product and vendor information in one place. I recommend you do this in a spreadsheet and record notes there consistently. Sure, I can do that. I, I didn't really give much attention to my notes. Now you know, and look here, the labels are filling off the package by leveling inventory properly you, you ensure that your product, products get stored accurately in the right spot so that your employees can find them easily when needed. Very good. Now, Ophelia and Lourdes. Okay, teacher. Okay. I am Harry. I was team. I wish Miss Business. Susan, I need a song. I was in a bus inventory man manager. Management. Okay. I see you keep notes on any scrap of paper, George. The first step to implement an, an organize, organ, organize inventory management system is getting all of your product and vendor information in one place. I recommend you do this in a spreadsheet and record notes there consistently. I sorry, I sorry, I can, I do. I that is, I, I did not, I really, I his much attention to, to me, notice. Now you know, and look here, the labels are falling off the package. By labeling inventory properly, you ensure that your product gets stored accurately 
in the site spot so that your employees can find them easily when needed. Okay, very good, perfect. Let's check some words, okay? Uh, I'm having a bad time with my business and I need some advice. What is advice? Suggestion. Recommendation. Very good, suggestion or recommendation. Uh, any scrap of paper? What is a scrap of paper? Draft, teacher. I'm sorry? Draft. Something like a draft, any paper, right? It's not organized. I mean, you say, I'm going to write this in this paper and whatever. Okay, uh, the next one says, implement organized inventory management system are getting all your product and vendor information in one place, recommend you. Spreadsheet, what is that? You design the, the system and the, and the software, the Excel. Very good. It's like that piece of software where you are able to make some charts and formulas and things like that. Very good. Uh, let's see and record notes there consistently. What is consistently? Like... Uh... do any in 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 a lot of times or frequency yeah. times yeah so you do it in the same way every time something like that one right uh i didn't really give much attention to my notes now you know and look here the labels are falling off the packages what are labels do you remember The code feature. Very good, the information from the packages. And you mm -hmm. see there that you can have that word in two different ways, labels, and then it says labeling. So labels is a noun and labeling is an activity, right? Falling off, let's see, properly, accurately, we know that spots, in the right spots, what is a spot? like a place very good in the right place that is it um easily we need it i don't think we have any other question any questions that you have no questions okay so let's check the activity below the questions of course what are some of Jorge's bad practices in inventory management? Aha. Uh -huh. So what are some bad practices he does in he inventory? Take notes and write in the scraps of paper. That is one, right? So he just writes in any paper. He's not organized. Very good. Okay, what else? Any other? There is one more there. He he does um, consistent consistent in the notes. Yeah, the notes are not something that he pays attention to. Very good, nice. Number two says, "What are systems recommendation to solve some of the issues?" So, what is the advice he provides? Uh, what the but implemented uh, a, a organized inventory management system. Okay, and uh, yeah, he, she recommends something. What is the recommendation she does? Implement an organized inventory management system and 
eh, organize the product and vendor information in one place. Oh, okay, that is it. The information in one place consistently in a spreadsheet. Yes. Okay, question number three says, what is another suggestion you could give Jorge to get his inventory organized? So your opinion, what else can he do? The ordinary inventory a daily. Okay, daily take care of that one. So that is a suggestion. What else? Maybe he needs a good, a good system. He needs a system, right? He doesn't have any system, uh -huh. actually. He needs a system? Um, he yeah, he's like... A good, a good label, information. He needs to be careful on those kind of things, right? So labeling is, is very important. That is one of the most important things in inventory. Good, good, good. So let's move on. And uh, we're going to check this one, actually. That is about what we're checking right now. Four tips for effective inventory management. I know that you wanted to read. So let's see. Um, Mayra, could you please read the first part? Yes. Um, inventory management is a pain point that plagues many retailers. Without an effective strategy, companies can make critical mistakes, tie up capital in excess inventory, create picking errors in the warehouse, and even miss sales opportunity due to out of stock products. Here are four tips to help retailers develop an inventory plan that works. What did you understand on this one? In this paragraph, uh, show some mistakes that the that the that mistakes that we can uh, podemos cometer. We can commit. Okay. We can commit if we don't have uh, some system. Uh, for uh, create a, um, a system organized for the products in the warehouse. Very good, perfect, thank you. Yes, actually, uh, that is what it says. I mean, if you don't have a very good management inventory system, it's going to cause a lot of problems. So that's what it says here. Without an effective strategy, companies can make critical mistakes like tie up capital in excess inventory. So we know excess inventory is not good. And uh, cre create picking errors in the warehouse. Again, right? If you don't have the correct labeling, you are going to make mistakes uh, when you deliver the product to other. To other. So... Let's check here. Uh, let's see. Rose, could you please read the other one? Yes. Make, make a plan and then execute. <clears throat> Inventory management is a continuous con concentrated effort and a process that shouldn't be handled solely at the operations level. A successful inventory plan should also involve your marketing, catalog, e-commerce, and merchandising departments. <clears throat> By manage, managing your inventory against a master promotional calendar, everyone wins. Your purchasing team understands when and how much product to buy. Your fulfillment 
provider knows when to prepare additional words, warehouse space and your contact center staff can anticipate increased call volume. At previous years, sales forecast to your inventory calendar to be even more prepared for seasonal spikes in demand. Good, what did you understand on this one? My God. Mm -hmm. uh, do you need a, a plan? That is the yeah. basic, right? Yeah, do you need a plan? Yeah. Uh, uh, you have to involve your marketing department, your sales department, uh, the e-commerce, every, every uh, together, uh, you have to do the forecast. That is it. So definitely you need to do a plan. So I believe that that is the most basic. If you are in this business and you don't have a plan, I mean, you're not in the right business, right? So sometimes you can improve. Sometimes you can implement different things, different automation, different software. But of course, even in the beginning, you need to have a plan. So let's check about this paragraph. It says make a plan and then execute. Inventory management is continuous. So it's not one thing that you do one day. It's every day, right? Concentrated effort and a process that shouldn't be handled so lightly. Do you know what is so lightly? So lightly. Yeah. I don't know the word, but I look in that mean um, it's like unique. Exactly. So it's not something that you do uh -huh. just it's one thing, right, together. So you need to do many things together. So that works. That's it. I'm doing the things maybe by my own. Okay. Yeah, yeah. you need yeah. help. Mm -hmm. So you need to request help. Good. And it says at the operations level, a successful inventory plan should also involve your marketing catalog, e-commerce, and merchandise department. So yeah, you need to involve all the departments, ask for opinion, even when they are not part of the logistical process, sometimes they have good ideas, right? And then it says by managing your inventory against a master promotional calendar. What is a master promotional calendar? What do you think? What is that? Okay, that is kind of easy. A master promotional calendar means that it's a calendar where you are going to not only produce and store, but also distribute and sell your products. But everybody is involved, all the departments. So that is a master because everybody is involved uh, in the whole procedure. So everybody has an opinion to provide or, I mean, imagine that you are in the production channel and you say, I'm going to produce a million shirts this month. So, but the warehouse manager is going to say, wait, 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 wait a moment. We need to check about the space. We need to check about many other things, right? So everybody has to be in that calendar. So everybody provides a feedback. And then it says, everyone wins. Your purchasing team understands when and how much product to buy. So yeah, they need to know about your needs and production. Your fulfillment provider knows when to prepare additional warehouse space. Again, the warehouse. And your contact center staff can anticipate increased call volume. So everybody is involved in this master calendar. So you know what to do. Add previous year sales forecast to your inventory calendar to be even more prepared for seasonal spikes in demand. What is a spike? Seasonal spikes says.
the farmer long? No, it's not like that. So in this case, in this specific case, a seasonal spike is when you are selling and suddenly you go up and sell a lot. And sometimes you go down. So for example, in Black Friday, some companies, they, they need to be ready to sell a lot of products, right? It's not for all the companies, but the most of the companies nowadays, they try to get involved in this kind of situations. It's like when you are at the top. Not at the top, but no. there is like a, like a, so you are in a, in a, in a, in a the chart. The money is increasing. Uh -huh, and then oh. increases. And mm -hmm. it's a seasonal because it's for specific dates. Mm -hmm. Okay. So for example, for Christmas, Christmas. for Mother's Day, for example, mm -hmm. flowers mm -hmm. and things like that one, right? They are, there is a spike on that kind of products. So that is it. But I have a doubt. The difference okay. when you when you talk about calendar, um, why what's the difference between a schedule and calendar? Mm, well, a calendar is like, for example, if you work in a company and you're using Google, for example, there you have your own calendar and Selma has her own calendar and Myra has her your own calendar. And when you want to do something that is related with that department you can look for her calendar and check if in her schedule there is an availability for a meeting or for doing something so she has her own schedule in the calendar the calendar is like the physical thing that you are seeing there and the schedule are oh. the activities oh, okay okay thanks good good Okay, let's move to the other one. It says use multiple vendors. Let's see. Um, Sulma, could you please read this one? Yes. Um, use multiple vendors. Uh, inventory management also means vendor management. If you have a high selling items that are difficult to keep in stock, or are planning a promotion that will significantly increase demand. If it often makes sense to commission a second vendor for the product as a backup plan. This helps prevent long lines time and out of stock when issues arise with the primary vendor or inventory doesn't arrive at the warehouse at all. Good, what did you understand on this one? I understand that you need a many options or a, just many options to a purchase a product or a materia prima? Raw material raw material material and because uh, sometimes one vendor can uh, give a less price than others okay very good perfect so yes it says use multiple vendors so exactly so you cannot depend on one vendor only many things might be happening and uh just in case you need to have at least two or three options, right? It says inventory management also means vendor management. So the input of your raw material into your company is very important. If you have, if you have a high selling item that's difficult to keep in stock, what is a high selling item? What do you think? Maybe a product that you uh, is 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 more frequently frequently to to buy for the clients. Very good. So the demand is very high. So for example, X, right? I mean X. Sometimes they have a price that gets high, but you can't stop buying X. So it's something that you need to buy. So it says in keep in stock or are planning a promotion that will significantly, you can see that there are many adverbs here, right? Significantly. 
increase demand. It often makes sense to commission a second vendor for the product as a backup plan. So yes, maybe you have a, an agreement, a contract with a vendor, but it's a very good idea for you to have at least one more option. This helps prevent long lead times and out of stock when issues arise when with the primary vendor or inventor doesn't arrive at the warehouse at all. So yes, if they have a problem, you need to move on. You need to overcome that kind of activities. Any questions on this one? Okay, so Adriana, could you please read the next one? Okay, consistent, constant communication. A good, a good re relationship with your vendor is crucial to your company's success, especially if you outsource any part of your retail operations. Your fulfillment provider becomes your brand in the eyes of, of the customer. So it's important that they understand your, your plans for your inventory as well as you do. This means constant communication of your promotional plans, product information, and upcoming releases. Every retail wants a flexible, trusted fulfillment provider, but a retailer should always be flexible and trusting in the in order to make their relationship work sam, seamlessly. Seamlessly, okay. Seamlessly. What did you understand in this one? Mm, and it's very it's very important that communication and the company with the with the the vendors um, for the coordination, the activities, for the information, the products, and the, and the information that, that are your plans. And, and another information is very important, um, the communication. Okay, the very good. Communication. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, well, in my opinion, this is a major problem in any company. In any, any company, uh, there is always a problem in communication. I don't know if you have noticed that in, in the companies where you have worked or in the companies where you work or you are part of. Uh, sometimes, I mean, the boss says something and then the other person says something else and I mean, it's, it's very, very difficult. I don't know why, but it's, it's very difficult. And it's something that it should be a priority. So it's not only for the warehouse and inventory, but for the whole company. It's very important to have a very good communication. I mean, sometimes people, they go to meetings and they agree on many things, but they... For example, one common thing that happens in the company is that you are in a meeting and you agree and you provide information and everybody says, okay, I understand. And you go to your desk and then you realize that one person is not there because he's on vacations. And nobody sends an email with the, uh, the agreements that you have for that meeting. And then when the other person comes to the, to the company back from vacation, sometimes they don't have any idea. What is going on? Why are you changing this procedure? So that is a problem that happens in all the companies. I don't know why. Let's check into this one. Consistent, constant communication. So it's not only communication, consistent and constant. So consistent is precise, something that is the most important thing that, that we're going to check. Uh, the crucial information has to be with the other part. And constant, I mean, every single change, every single, single things that you need to communicate, it needs to be there. So it says, a good relationship with your vendors is crucial to your company's success, especially 
if you outsource any part of your retail operations. Definitely. Your fulfillment provider becomes your brand in the eyes of the customer. So what is brand? Do you remember? What is a brand? The name commercial of the product. Very good. The commercial name of the product, like Nike or Adidas or HP, right? So that is it. Good. So, uh, so it's important that they understand your plans for your inventory as well as you do. So yes, if you are going to work with other departments, with other companies, they need to know your plans. Maybe not everything, but the ones that are necessary. This means constant communication of your promotional plans, product information, and upcoming releases. Every retailer wants a flexible, trusted fulfillment provider, but a retailer should also be flexible and trusting in order to make the relationship work seamlessly. Anybody knows what is seamlessly? What is seamlessly? Anybody? Seam, I think it's the bird, no? Yeah. Yes. I think that, that is, um, I don't even, um, seamlessly, oh my God, it's like perfect. Well, yeah, together, like, like being in a match, right? Mm -hmm. To, to um, like a chain that has to be, very well grained and, and oiled. Like Sorry. something perfectly. Okay. I, I, I think I remember. Okay, nice. Yeah, it has to be working smooth, right? Okay, the next one is for, let's see. Let's see. Carla. Okay, create compliance police. The standard operating procures are critical to making your day-to-day -day warehouse operation a uniform process. Develop policies that vendor merchandising and fulfillment staff are there too. That way your product will be shipped, received, stocked, and pick it efficiently and accurately without uh, upsetting your inventory count. And this can include in shipping gates, product specification ships, packaging and stop instruction, billing guidance, and so on. For example, if you sell product in package of five, of five, five it's critical to learn your order fulfillment providers receiving a staff not so they don't spend precious time breaking down the earring into individual units only to have the, the pick and pack staff for a kit the iron before treatment. When you have the guidance in place, you can assure us that your inventory management system is reflecting that most up-to-date information and can create with confidence. Very good. So what did you understand on this one? Uh, it's very important that all companies uh, have a policy because they the the because it's very important to uh, put clear all the process and way to work for a uh, dispatch any product or sell any product or what is the process for obtaining uh, the 
self of product uh, when when uh, because it's very important that uh, uh, vendors or client have a clear that that a step a uh, continuum for for a self or for a push order for example okay very good perfect thank you so it says actually yeah you need to create compliance policies so you need to create your own policies so every department every company related to this process um gets to to do what they need to do compliance what is compliance uh, compliance is uh uh, respect to uh, police, for example. Yeah, when you need to respect, when you there are some certain rules that you need to to address, so you accomplish a, a procedure. Let's say there is a, a very interesting word here: standard. A standard is very important in this kind of procedures companies tasks so you need to have standard procedures and actually it says here are critical to making your day-to-day -day warehouse operation a uniform process so you look at that word is also very important a uniform process everything that is nice organized do you remember when we saw the video from amazon right i mean thousands of products different products but everything was organized even when they didn't have different like sections for for the inventory i mean they have different things together even though they have everything uniform organized so that is very important and then it's it's a, it's, in the casa where in the case uh where have, uh, amazon warehouse e I I believe that have a uh, many many pro process for ways of work because there are many kind of product. That is true. They have a, a lot of procedures, a lot of processes, a lot of tasks, many people, different positions, different levels, uh, different manuals to to check into the one uh, security a lot of things so that is not that easy of course the investment is a lot but also the profit is a lot uh, so it says develop policies that vendors merchandisers and fulfillment staff adhere to adhere what is to adhere Anybody knows what at ear is? Okay, I fear is like when you have a police, a policy that you have to comply and you adhere by doing the things that you need to do so you accomplish that policy. For example, one common adherence KPI is when you have to have your lunch at specific time. So for example, in the banks, the bank tellers, they cannot just go to lunch and that's it, right? Because there are some uh, certain times that is crowded. There are a lot of people coming into the bank. So they have to take turns, but it's not just like, I'm hungry, I'm gonna go for lunch right now. So there are times assigned for them to go to lunch. So if they go to lunch at the specific time that they were assigned, then they adhere to that policy. So they accomplish that one. So that is adhere. So it says, that way your products will be shipped received, stocked, and picked efficiently and accurately 
without upsetting your inventory count. What is upsetting? Upset. Like an angry? It's like an angry, it's like, make something or somebody feel bad, right? I, I am upset to say. So in this case, it's talking about, it's an adjective actually, uh, talking about the process, right? So the process won't be good if uh, you don't do the right thing. And it says this can include shipping guides, product specification sheets, packaging stock instruction, billing guidelines, and so on. So yeah, you need all of this, all these papers, specifications, processes, you need to do that one. So everybody understands what are you up to. And then it says, for example, if you sell a product in packages of five, it's critical to let your order fulfillment provider receiving stack. Staffs know that they don't spend precious time breaking down the items into individual units. So that is important. I mean, if you are going to have Six packs, you don't have to make them down into individual units, only to have the pick and pack staff rekey the items before shipment. When you have guidelines in place, you can assure that your inventory management system is reflecting the most up to date information and can react with confidence. Up to date, what is up to date? Does anybody wants to say what is up to date? In time, teacher? Maybe actualization. Yeah, up to date is updated, right? When you are updated. with the most recent information, software, or whatever. So up to date is when you know the, the, new, the newest things, right? Okay, do you have any questions on this one? Okay, so we're going to stop for a while. We're going to check the attendance because it's nine already. So, Ada Patricia Linares Galdamez. Present teacher. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Good. Ana Selmi Chavez. Teacher. Good. Flor de Maria Carballo Ugarte. Present. Good. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Good. Guadalupe del Carmen López Flores. Present, teacher. Good. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present, teacher. Good. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. I'm here, teacher. Good. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Present. Good. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. Good. Osmin Baire Solorzano. Present, teacher. Good. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Present. Good. Rafael Ernesto González Ventura. Present. Good. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Present, teacher. Good. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present. Good. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present teacher. Good. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Jancy Lisbeth Hernández Mejía. Present. Good. Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Good. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present. Good. Ana Michelle Guevara. Present. Good. Susana Carolina Hernandez Iraeta. Present. Good, perfect. So we are going to continue. We're going to watch a video, actually two videos. And then we are going to continue with the book. As usual, we're going to comment after we finish this one. Uh, let me just do a little trick here so you are able to. And listen very well. Okay, here we go. In this American English pronunciation video, 
we're going to go over how to pronounce the ER ending of words. Today we're talking about word stress and ER ending. ER ending will always be unstressed. So it will be lower in pitch and quicker than the stressed syllable in the word. For example, father. Fath er. Fath er. I'm sure you can hear the big, small contrast. So the stressed syllable will have shape in it, but the unstressed er, er, will be very flat, er, and low in pitch. Father. This ending is written in IPA with the schwa and the American R symbols. But you definitely don't want to make a separate schwa sound, er, er. It's just one sound, er, er. Let's look at a few more example words. Louder, loud, er, louder. Further, furth, er, furth, er, further. Sister, sist, er, sist, er, sister, computer, compute, er, computer, ever, ev, er, ever, over, ov, over, singer, sing, er, singer. So don't forget when you see this ER ending to make it nice and short with just the er sound in it. No other vowel, no shape. It's a very flat, quick, low sound. That's it, and thanks so much for using Rachel's English. I'd like to take a moment for a quick plug for a new course I'm developing. It's going to be an eight-week conversation course. That okay, what did you get into this one? Pronunciation is important. Nice right? teacher. I like it. <laughs> yeah, you know, um, English is, is so expressive. That is true. Yeah, you, you have to be ex exaggerate, I think, <laughs> to a good pronunciation. Because if you don't open your mouth, you can further. <laughs> now you can say further. <laughs> yeah, you have to you have to open your mouth. Yeah, sometimes you also have to sometimes when you speak English, you have to use all your face, right? For example, today I was remembering that you asked about spreadsheet. Spreadsheet. So it's not another pronunciation, right? So it's very important there, the way that you pronounce. The problem is that if you don't say the words uh, properly, the other person is not going to understand. I mean, that is for sure. But for sure, I mean, even the, the intonation in a word, if you say the intonation in a word, in a different way, they don't get it. They don't understand. They say, what? What do you say? Here in El Salvador, we understand each other because we have the same accent. We have the same uh, Spanish language, native tongue. But if you go to other country and you speak in that way, they don't understand. Even when you say, but I mean, I speak English very well, but they say, oh, I'm sorry, I don't understand. You need to pronounce very well the words, okay? Of course, it's that is so, possible. Go ahead. So I think that it's so difficult, but not impossible. <laughs> Definitely. For example, when you pronounce, I, I don't, I don't, I can't difference. When you pronounce ship and ship. <laughs> oh yeah, ship and ship is not the same, listen, yeah. ship uh -huh. and ship. Ship and ship. <laughs> yes. It's not the same. 
if you don't if if you don't pronounce if you don't have a good pronunciation the other person is going to make a question mark what <laughs> that is so true i mean that happens all the time even in the movies whenever you see that somebody is not speaking very well you will see that the other person says i'm sorry i don't get it and they they correct ah the pronunciation is like this so that happens that happens all the time and i know i know that uh by now we're learning and we're checking some things but whenever you finish the course this is a good thing that you can do to check pronunciation maybe you know the vocabulary maybe you know the grammar but there are other things that you can practice and pronunciation is one of the best things that you can get into practice and yeah even if you study a lot it's going to be very difficult for you to get the real American accent, for example. Only if you go to the United States for a year and speak only in English, only then probably you are going to have a very good accent. But the pronunciation is not the same than the accent, of course. The accent is like the Spanish word that we sometimes say, and the pronunciation is to say the word properly. So that is something important. So phonetics, is something that you can get into whenever you finish this course. My my sister studies English at uh, the university and many years ago and when she was learning it, she she gave me the the keys for example with when she studied um, grammatic grammatic I think grammar I don't know, grammar yeah grammar grammar uh, she she do an exercise and she put a page in front of the, the, the mouth and the pronunciation is good, the page is going to, to move. <laughs> or maybe uh, uh, touching your vowels, your cuerda vocales, I don't remember how you say. <laughs> touching, yeah, your, your vocal huh? touching here, yeah, touching here. <laughs> yeah, it's a good way to know the pronunciation. That is true. I mean, uh, we have different levels of English. I mean, everybody has different levels of English. And uh, yeah, they, when you come to the English classes, it's for you to get vocabulary, to understand the grammar, to check some intonation and pronunciation. But once you finish the English course, that is the next step. It's pronunciation, phonetics. And you can do it yourself. You can see that in YouTube, you can find a lot of uh, exercises for this one so you can do it so it's a good idea okay we're gonna watch the other video this is about inventory so let's see how it goes uh, remember that at the end we are going to provide uh, comments about this one house inventory management system can be an exciting time for our business the new technology and solutions are filled with possibility but they also need some direction to work well with the new supply chain strategy so if you're upgrading your warehouse capabilities, improving inventory control, or building an entire new storage unit, begin by exploring your new abilities and what you can do to save money, decrease loss, and make the most of your advanced system. First, use fixed and movable tracking options. When companies think of warehouse tracking, they think primarily of movable tracking options, tracking the units and pallets as they get moved around the warehouse and sent up the supply chain. This is only one part of the warehouse management process. Do not forget the benefits that come with used fixed trackers too. By tracking fixed warehouse assets, you are able to assign and manage destinations much more easily and arrange strategy protocols as needed without mass confusion. It's better to think of warehouse tracking in two different parts, one fixed and one movable. Second, eliminate lag with real-time information. Older inventory management systems suffered from a certain amount of lag delays between inventory movement and software updates that would show the movement taking place. You no longer need to suffer from lag with today's warehouse systems. Our services allow you to tag products that receive real-time updates on exactly where they are at all times. This increases the efficiency of management decisions and removes confusion in fast-paced supply environments. Real-time visibility to warehouse inventory and transactions reduce phone calls and emails verifying quantities. We regularly hear the excitement from accounts payable when they are able to see precise inventory receipts on the purchase order. Third, track high sellers. 
Your new warehouse inventory system will give you the ability to track orders and sales per client and per product. Do not let this information go to waste. Use it to track your high sellers and position them at locations that make picking and delivery extra easy. This will make your big clients even happier and help you save time as well. Sales volume is also the biggest factor in creating minimum and maximum stock levels to drive purchasing decisions. Many companies they may start with safety stock, but that's often a manual process. Robust inventory management software like QStock Inventory will dynamically factor sales volume, usage, and shifts in market demand to drive that purchasing recommendation. You may also use this information in your inventory counts. Faster moving product is more key to the customer and the company, so should be cycle counted more frequently. More movement means more opportunity for change and more critical to have accurate stocking levels. Slower items have less chance for variance and are less impactful to the business, so you can save time counting the majority of your inventory. Fourth, remember personal identification. Sometimes companies get so excited about inventory tracking that they forget about employee tracking as well. If you are getting a new inventory or warehouse management system, consider including security protocols that make it easier to track employees too and recognize when non-employee individuals are on the floor for no reason. Mobile computers and barcode scanners attach a username, date, and time to every transaction. This information can be used to identify and reward the fastest and most accurate employees. It's also helpful when helping small businesses go back in time to look for damaged or lost inventory. Fifth, don't be afraid to reorganize your floor plan. Now that you have advanced tracking and software capabilities, do not be afraid to change your floor plan. Demand and production change, so why shouldn't your storage plans? If your business goes through notable changes that affect how and what products are managed, change your floor plan to match the new model rather than getting stuck in a rut. Distribution warehouses will often have a distinct path someone would follow. Warehouse management will identify the heaviest and fasting moving inventory to put at the front of the pick path. Lighter and slower moving inventory will move to the end of the pick path to prevent being crushed and save time picking. Sales volumes change season to season so items should be frequently rotated to save time and prevent injury. Sixth, link accuracy with inventory levels whenever possible. Your new inventory management system will give you plenty of data on how products move around your warehouse. At first, all this information can seem a little overwhelming, but with the right type of analysis, specific solutions should emerge. Whenever possible, try to connect your newfound accuracy to inventory levels. This can be challenging for companies unfamiliar with inventory tracking, but this higher level strategy will lead to some of the most significant savings for your company. Let your inventory management software eliminate unnecessary inventory and shift orders to meet demand more accurately to really see results. Leverage barcode scanners to increase both speed and accuracy of data entry. The best warehouse inventory management systems will not just record what the user is doing, but direct them through the efficient warehouse operations workflows. By taking the responsibility off the user, training and onboarding can be reduced from weeks to hours, and each transaction can be reduced by 20%. Seventh, explore money savers like cross docking, wave picking, and other options. It's time for a little innovation. If you do not already practice cross docking, your warehouse management system should show you new opportunities to use this warehouse light option to save money. The same is true of wave picking, which is much easier to implement in complex shipping systems when you adopt advanced tracking methods. If you are currently running your distribution business on Sage Intact or QuickBooks, schedule a discovery call and demo to see if QStock can be... Okay, what did you get on this one? I think he, I, I understand that he is talking about the technology, how important is technology in inventories, okay. and he mentioned the tracking in in the orders, and I think that is 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 amazing the tracking. Uh, the last week I. I make a, uh, oh my God, I made a pedido. Uh, uh, an, an order, you made an order. Oh yeah, I, I'm, I, I make an order in the application of a restaurant and it's, it's amazing. I was tracking my, my order 
and that's a really time uh, in a real in a real time because I make the the order and the application is your order is preparing and your order is on the way and I can see the motorcycle and what's amazing for me what's amazing is that's true I'm I'm the client I was happy because I can track in the order. It's the same case in inventories. If the, if your client can track in the order, he's uh, he is happy because his order is is on the way. That is true. I mean, what you say is, is something that is very simple, but it's also very it's amazing, right? That you yes. can place an order right now and you can track. Yes, you can also track the, the, the motorcycle. Oh my yeah, God. Exactly. Oh, it's on the corner. Oh my God. If, if that's true, if the time was exactly. Yeah, it's very good, right? So they are coming, they are, I mean, and you you are so happy that you're going to eat. Yes, <laughs> like, oh my God. <laughs> find the technology that they use. I mean, yes. only only the GPS is, is very, very expensive. Of course, it's for the whole company because the whole company is a worldwide company. And... Um, but it's, it's, it's very, very good. It's I amazing. like it. I like it. Uh, you can, you're like employee, can put your fingerprint and the machines uh, register your, your ID. And you can verify mistakes or make, or maybe, uh, um, I don't remember how, how they work, but you can identify mistakes you can control the employees yeah it was amazing that is so true i mean technology right now and for this kind of uh, companies is amazing any other comments Okay. Uh, anybody, huh? I thought somebody was going to say something. No. Yes, maybe. Okay, so we are going to check the grammar. This is something that we checked yesterday. How to use adverbs to qualify verbs. Look at the examples in the box, then complete the exercises below. And it says, use adverbs to communicate where, when, why, how, how often, how much, or to what degree they qualify the actions and the claims we make. So as you remember yesterday, we were checking about these kind of situations, right? And the adverbs tell us where, when, why, how, how, how much, and to what degree uh, something is happening, an action is happening. They qualify the actions, so that is it. Do you remember the difference between adjectives and adverbs? Yes. Uh -huh. In some cases, a adjective, for example, quick, don't have L-Y in the Finnish word, but in the adverb, yes. Very good. That is a way for you to differentiate any other thing between adjectives and adverbs in the adjective describe the 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 how do you say the subject no. No. substantive no. substantive now the noun yes substantive is, is right teacher no that is the subject the subject is the sentence but it's different than the noun ah, okay the noun and the other uh, is response re the related to the action is, is the verb. That is it. So the adjective mm -hmm. describes the noun and the adverb describe the action. Very good. Perfect. So we're going to check the next one. Let's see. Uh, Osmin, could you please read the chart? It's okay. Use of verb communicate where, when, why, how, 
how often, how much, or to what degree. They point the action and the claim, claims we make. Yeah. Thank you. And uh, let's see. Lourdes, could you please continue? Hello, Lourdes. Hello, teacher. Ah, uh, yes. Could you please continue reading? Okay. Uh, with the examples. Ah, uh, yes, please. Okay. Organize your inventory efficiently. Record information accurately. Check for possible improvement consistently. Revise processes slowly. Communicate with your distributor regularly. Change your inventory practices incrementally. Continue. Right. I know, that is fine. Okay. So, yeah, those are some examples. And it says, many others are created by putting together an adjective and adding the suffix ly. So, for example, efficient, efficiently, accurate, accurately, consistent, consistently. Okay. It's, I believe it's kind of easy. And yesterday we checked more in deep about this one. There are some examples. Organize your inventory efficiently. Remember that it's possible to change the position of the adverb. So you can say, for example, efficiently organize your inventory. So that is possible. Record information accurately. Check the possible improvement consistently. What is improvement, everybody? To be better. Very good, to do something better. Nice. Revise processes slowly. Communicate with your distributor regularly. Change your inventory practices incrementally. So those are the adverbs. We're going to do exercise five, so. Okay, uh, let's see. Ophelia, could you please, well, we're, let's check the first things, okay? It says organize product and vendor information, create and submit accurate purchase orders, receive inventory with speed and accuracy, tag and label inventory, record yourselves. So what we're gonna do is we're going to put that in the description according to what we're gonna read. Ophelia is going to read the number one. Hello, Ophelia. Hello, teacher. Hello. Uh, a one. <coughs> Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear to record. I was proofs. I was so I was the proofs. I li Listen, this is this discord and was this was actually I pray for the product. Okay, so number one says you want to record what product was sold, what the product's listed price is, discounts, and what price was actually paid for the product. So what do you believe is this one? Record yourself. Record yourself. Very good. Record yourselves. Very good. So you need to have all the information about everything. Good. Um, tell me, could you please read number two? Yes, teacher. Get all of your product and vendor information organized. And in one place, product information, description, 
and shipping info. Include as well the business name in business contact info. Very good. So it says get all of your product and vendor information organized and in one place. Product information, description, shipping info. Include as well the business name and the business contact info. What is that? Organized product and vendor information. Very good. Organized product and vendor information. That is. Uh, the number three is for Guadalupe. Okay. Uh, do this to your inventory and it will ensure customer and cashier are not confused about a product price. Good. So okay. what is this one? It says do this to your inventory and it will ensure customers and cashiers are not confused about the product's price. What do you think is this? Tag and label inventory. Tag and label inventory. Very good, tag and label inventory. Nice, number four is going to be for, let's see, Rafael. Okay, if there is a difference between the order you submit and the actual inventory deliver, grab a copy of your purchase order to check and catalog a new inventory before it's put away in the stock room. Good, so here it says, if there is a difference between the order you submitted and the actual inventory delivered, grab a copy of your purchase order to check and catalog all new inventory before it is put away in the stock room. This is a very good practice actually. So what might be this one? Receive. Upload purchase order. Okay. Receive, receive inventory. inventory with the speed and accuracy. Good. Receive inventory with speed and accuracy. Good. Uh, here there are some words. Let's check. Uh, what is grab a copy? What is grab? Does anybody knows what is grab? Mm. How can I explain? It's like, uh, oh my God. And when you catch something, I don't know. Mm. Okay. Your take with Ob your hand. Obtain. <clears throat> okay, that is it. To take, obtain, get something, right? Get a copy of your purchase order to check and catalog all the events before it put away. Okay, everything is clear now. And uh, Nelson, number five. Hello, Nelson. Sorry, teacher, I microphone mute. No worries. Incorporated a purchase order system to make purchase accurate and avoid confusion. Good. Incorporate a purchase order system to make purchases accurate and avoid confusions. What is that? Is is correct? Oh, Bob. Sorry. Precise inventory with the speech and the occurrence. Uh, we checked that already. We took that already. I guess it's just one missing, right? Which one is the one that is missing, everybody? Create, Create and, and submit, submit. Uh -huh. orders. 
Very good. Create and submit accurate purchase orders. Very nice. Any questions in this one? Okay, so we're not gonna do that. We're gonna do this. It says, I will be able to design a proposal to implement a cycle count program. What is a proposal, anybody? It's like an offer. Yes. Very good, it's like an offer that you do. Uh, for another business or anything like that. Okay, and the number one says, let's start. How do companies keep their inventory count accurate? Mm, that is a very good question. What do you think, everybody? How do companies keep their inventory count accurate? For example, teacher, today, uh, today we make a, a count of some of the items because the time flies and so um, June is coming and we have an inventory in June and we have to start uh, to to count the items. Today we have we take a how do you say a muestra. A sample. Ah, yeah. Today we have a sample for from uh, about four categories, and and that's the way we have to try <laughs> to keep the inventory accurate. Accurate. Yeah. So to count them uh, at least twice a year is important, right? So. Mm, but what happens if you have a lot of differences? What do you do? I mean, how do you try to, to we, keep that accurate? We have to, we have to find, we have to find uh, um, the reasons. Uh, for example, we have to check the papers. We have to say the out, the outs, and the entries. And I have to, <laughs> I have to guess. I have to remember what happened. In that in that uh, line of time, also we don't have to do since January. For example, we have to do this. For example, each end of month because if I do because if I do this at this time, I have to I have to remember since January, and that's not the way. Also, we have to we have to. We have to revise the documents, finding right. reasons. That is actually something that is very, very good, right? So find the reasons why. Why is this happening? Who made the mistake? Is the system not working properly? Something is going on, definitely. And yeah, well, but sorry, teacher. Yeah, but uh, in this case. <laughs> The we the human uh, uh, do the things in the system and the mistakes are humans, I think. <laughs> but um, it's rarely the systems makes uh, something real. We can make mistakes. That is true. Again, always is going to be somebody that did something that is not correct, right? That is. The only thing that we need to do is to check what happened and avoid that to happen again. So the next time is more accurate. Maybe not perfect, but more accurate. How often should a warehouse keep count on their inventory? What do you think? How often should a warehouse keep count on their inventory? In your opinion, depends, teacher. Depend of the control to uh, throw of the year. For example, in the case the Rosie, um, is a control when the the responsible for the area um, 
do doing uh, the sample for different group or subgroup of the inventory during the year, but it's a good control. Depend of the, the kind of the inventory too. Depend of the, the there are a lot of factors that um, that is necessary analyze for a get a good answer. In general, in our country, for the tax law, um, is obligation once year, the uh, once for year in the end of the year. But for the control, for the get the good information, the inventory can occur, but depends mostly or in this in in a specific industry, the count is daily. Daily is right, teacher. Daily, yeah, daily. yeah. In depend of the inventory, but in general, the good the good system of the contract um, is one for month or for quarterly. Quarterly, okay. It's good. Mm -hmm. Perfect, very good. Uh, yes, I guess, yeah, that at least once a year you need to count, right? I guess the most of the big companies, they try to keep an, a daily, as monthly, a, a weekly uh, inventory, but it's not that specific. I mean, it's not that they are going to count every single thing. As I remember, the most of the companies, they the big companies that they need to check the warehouse and things like that, they do that twice a year, sometimes in June and then in December or January, something like that. Uh, but as you say, sometimes that depends. I mean, in uh, a store of a lot of things that the, the, uh, the selling of the products is, is very fast, you need to do that very, very, often right and it's not teacher i know a specific company that the organization in its execution of the inventory is in charge of the directors the high uh, management because the product is very very spe specialized very special and Yes, and the result for them is very, very, very important. The condition of the inventory and the directors, uh, they are the main in the group of the account during the, during the physical inventory. That is interesting, yeah, because it's not that way. I remember I used to work for a factory as well. It was a very, very nice factory. They were working very nice. And we used to do the inventory twice a year and everybody were involved except the, the ones who produce, right? So uh, every staff member, we were there two days. It were two very, very difficult day because we need to count and I mean, it was, but we need to do that one, right? So that's the way it is, good. We are going to check their, uh, their conversation here. St Steve and Anna are trying to find out the location of two products they receive in their warehouse. Take turns practicing the conversation. Okay, I'm going to say that. And if you have questions about pronunciation, you can tell me. It says here in the inventory that we have 200 wooden planks, but I can't find them anywhere. Do you have any idea where I could find them? 200 wooden planks? I remember we got an order for, from a manufacturer. Let me see if I can find any record here. The order was from the people who manufactured tables. By the way, the manager is also asking for a crate of electronic devices delivered from China a week ago, but I can't find them either. I see the problem. The 200 wooden boards 
were recorded as 20 wooden planks and it seems the crate was placed in the round dock. Questions about pronunciation. And when you say great crate of electronic. Yeah, crate of electronic devices. Crate. Crate. Okay. Okay, no more questions. So that is good. Let's practice then. Uh, let's see, uh, Rose and Selmy. Okay, Selmy. Thank you, Steve. Yeah, okay. Okay, thank you, Rose. It says here in the inventory that we have 200 wooden planks. Wooden planks? Wooden planks. Wooden planks. But... I can't find them anywhere. Do you have any idea where I could find them? We can hear you, Rose. <laughs> Sorry. No 200 wooden planks. I remember we got an order from a manufacturer. Let me see if I can find any record here. The other was from the people who manufacture the tables. By the way, the manager is also asking for a crate of electronic device delivered from China a week ago, but I can't find them in it either. I see the problem. The 200 wooden boards were recorded as 20 wooden planks, and it seems the crate was placed in the wrong dock. Very good, perfect. So now, uh, Osmin and Nelson. Right, teacher, okay, teacher. I start, Nelson. You say here in the inventory that we have 200 wooden planks, but I can't find them anywhere. Do, anywhere. do you have? Any idea where I could find them? Okay, Nelson, you're next. Hello. Hello. Uh, 200, 200 wooden plan. I remember we got, we got an order from a manufacturing. Let me see if I can find any record here. The other was from the people who manufacture tables. By the way, the manager is also asking for a credit of electronic device delivered from China and week ago but I can find them either. I see the problem. The 200 wooden boards were recorded and 20 wooden plants. And I seen the creator was placing in the world dog. Good, perfect, nice. Now, Sandra and Ophelia. Star Ophelia? Yes. Is a study here is a day inventory? I white west has a new western founder. I press I bus is I can fish I des I many where you has Many ED where I call a fifth day.
uh, we can hear you, Sandra. Sorry. 200 wooden plants. I remember we got order from a manufacturer. Let me see if I can find an, any record here. At the order I went home. I did people's I host manufacturers. I I tell I be the the war I the manager is Arson asking I host a car car trip os electric derivatives deriver from China. I wish I go but is I cannot. I think they ate it. I see the problem. The two founder wall boards were rec recorded as 20 wooden plants. And it's in the, the cry was placed in the wrong dock. Very good. Now, Adriana and Guadalupe. Okay, me, Steve, it okay. says here in the inventory that we have 200 wooden, wooden plants, but I can't find them anywhere. Do you have any idea where I could find them? 200 wooden plants. I remember we got an order from a manufacturer. Let me see if... I can't find any record here. The order was from the people who manufacture tables. By the way, the manager is also asking for the crate of electronic device delivery from China a week ago, but I can't find them either. <laughs> I see the problem. The 200 wooden work board were a record as 20 wooden plank. Um, it, it seemed the crate was placed, placed in the word dock. Good, perfect. Now, Floor and uh, Mayra. Okay. <clears throat> I start. It says here in the inventory that we have 200 wooden planks, but I can find them anywhere. Do you have any idea where I could find them? 200 wooden plants. I remember we got an order from manufacturer. Let me see if I can find any record here. The order was from the people who manufacture tables. By the way, the manager is also asking for a crate of electronic device delivering from China a week ago, but I can find them either. I see the problem. The 200 wooden boards were recorded as 20 wooden plants in I think I think the crate was placed in the wrong dock. Very good, nice. Now Jancy and Rafael. Okay. It say here in the inventory that it would have two hundred wooden plants, but I can't find them anywhere. Uh, do you have any idea where I could find them? 200 wooden planks. I remember we got an order from a manufacturer. Let me see if I can find any record here. The order was from the people who manufactured stable. 
By the way, the manager is also asking for a create for electronic device delivered from China. I quit ago, but I can't find the hey. I see the problem. The 200 wooden bars were recorded as 20 wooden planks, and it seemed the crate was placed in the wrong duct. Okay, very good, perfect. Now, Zulma and Lourdes. Okay, I start. Okay. It says here in the inventory that we have 200 wooden planks, but I can't find them anywhere. Do you have any idea where I could buy them? 200 wooden planks? I remember we got an order from a manufacturer. Let me see if I can find any record here. The order was from the people who manufactured tables. By the way, the manager is also asking for a great of electronic device delivered from China a week ago, but I can't find them either. I see the problem. The 200 wooden boards were recorded as 20 wooden planks, and it seems the crate was placed in the wrong dock. So now Carla and... Uh... Let me see who else is missing. Susana. Okay. Me still. It said here in the inventory that we have 200 wooden plank, but I can't find them anywhere. Do you have any idea where I could find them? <laughs> Hello, Susana, are you here? I guess she's not here by now. Pamela, can you please help? Hello, Pamela. Yes, and I am. Yeah, please. Uh, 200 wooden planks. I remember we got a uh, order from a manufacturer. Let me see if I can find any record here. The order was from the people who manufacture tables. By the way, the manager is also asking for a create of electronic device delivery from China and with a go. But I can't find them either. I see the, I see the problem. The 200 wooden boards were record, recorded as 20 wooden planks. And it seems that crate was played, placed in the wrong dock. Okay, very good. Now, Michelle. And who else is missing? Nobody else is right. Um, okay, Michelle and uh, Sulma, could you please help Michelle? Okay, let me start. It says here in the inventory that we have 200 wooden planks, but I can't find them anywhere. Do you have any idea where I could find them? Hello. I guess she's not here. I'm going to help you, okay? 200 wooden planks. I remember we got an order from a manufacturer. Let me see if I can find any record here. The order was from the people who manufacture tables. By the way, the manager is also asking for a crate of electronic device delivered from China a week ago, but I can't find them either. I see the problem. 
The 200 wooden boards were recorded as 20 wooden planks, and it seems the crate was placed in the round dock. That is a big problem. Imagine that thing, I mean, <laughs> that is not good. Not good at all. Uh, let's just finish the exercise below that is according to this one that it says, uh, what item is Steve looking for? Mm -hmm. What item is Steve looking for? Two hundred wooden planks. Two hundred wooden planks. Good. So, and then it says, "Who placed an order for wooden boards?" From a manufacturer. Yeah, manufacturer. Okay. The last one it says, "Why was Steve not able to find the item in the warehouse?" Uh -huh. It was mistake for the recorder. <laughs> that is it. It was not recorded properly. So that is a big problem. Okay. So do you have any questions for the class of today? No question. No teacher. Clear as horchata. Okay. So my friends, we're gonna finish. We're going to check the attendance before we check the attendance. Uh, everybody, I guess everybody has done the one one, right? So the question is, who wants to stay with me for a few minutes in the one one today? Just before we check the attendance. Anybody can do it. I know that everybody wants, but just one person. Who is going to be the one that is going to stay a while? Me, teacher, only I have a question with uh, the platform. Okay, perfect. So we're going to stay and check on that one. Very good. So now we are going to check the attendance. Uh, so Ada, Patricia, Linares, Galdames. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Thank you. Good. Ana Selmi Chavez. Present teacher. Good. Flor de Maria Carballo Ugarte. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Guadalupe del Carmen López Flores. Present teacher. Good. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Present. Good night, teacher. Good night. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Present. Good. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Osmin Baires Solorzano. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Good night, present. Good night. Rafael Ernesto González Ventura. Present, good night. Good night. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present, teacher. Good. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present, teacher. Good. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Jancy Lisbeth Hernández Mejía. Present. Good. Zulma Rosabra López García. Present. Good. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present, teacher. Good night. Good, good night. Ana Michelle Guevara. Present. Good. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Okay, my friends, it was a pleasure to be here with you. Today is Tuesday, Friday is the last class. Remember to do the platform. Remember that you are going to receive the survey for Insaforp and you don't have to do it. We are doing that together on Friday. 
Remember to dream in English. Practice a lot and see you tomorrow. Okay, good night. Good night. Good night and see you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Okay, hello, Sulma. Hi, teacher. Um, my question is for the unit three. Okay. In the part three point five, I, I don't understand the instruction, or I don't remember. Okay, three point five. It's about punctuation. Ah, oh, punctuation. Let me just check into that. 3.5, 3.5. Okay, let's see. This, this one. Okay. Okay, yeah, so read the warehouse issues below, apply the corresponding punctuation, yeah. So the first one says, we remove items from the cartoons and packages are resulted, ah, okay. So in this case, let's check the number one. There are two ways that you can do this. Uh, you can say, for example, we removed items from cartoons and packages, and that is a semicolon. As a result, Column, a mm -hmm. comma, I'm sorry, comma. Pickers are not able to find them when they need to. The other mm -hmm. way, yeah, the other way is we remove items from cartoons and packages, period. As a result, comma, pickers are not able to find them when they need to. Yeah. That will be it. So uh, this is a class that we check exactly about this one. It's about position. Remember that it's a clause and that depending on which clause is first, you need to separate them with a comma. Let's check the number two. Uh, it says, well, it should be. The first option is the vendor is shipping multiple items in a single box, semicolon. Consequently, mm -hmm. comma, we have to waste time to open the box, comma, count the items and rebox them. So that is the first option. Or yeah. you, can, you can do it like this. The vendor is shipping multiple items in a single box, period. Consequently, comma, we have to waste time to open the box, comma, count the items and rebox them. Mm. Yeah. The number three. I don't know if you have any other. I, I can tell you all the answers, but I don't know if you. It's clear how it's going to be. Um, yes, I, I try to finish uh, the others. Perfect. But do you have, thank you. I oh, understand it's, now. It's a pleasure. Uh, do you have any other question? Any other thing? No, it is only. Okay, perfect, Sulma. It was a pleasure to be here with you. Have a very good night and see you tomorrow. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye now.